Battery Life Plus. It's a solar charger. Uh, I got it from my old job. It's a parts store I worked at, and um, basically, you know, just picked it up. You know, walk past it every day, wondering if the daggone thing works. I figured it was worth a shot to see. Let me just place this panel on the roof. All right, of course, my meter is reading zero. I don't have to excuse the shaky hands because I'm going to try to probe this. And we have a reading. It's reading. Whoa. Why is this thing reading so high? Good direct sunlight is going to do it for it. Bring it inside. 20 volts. When I get into a more shaded. Okay. 17, 16. This is. Flip it upside down. All right, now it's reading nine. That's about charging voltage right there. And it's kicked at an angle. So that's really weird, okay? So my resting voltage on my AGM North Star back here is showing 12.89 volts. Let's see what happens when I plug this thing in. On this side, I got everything hardwired. Um, this is where my old battery went. Everything is nice and tight. I like to check them periodically. Let's go on and um, plug that solar charger in. I got it sitting right on top of my car. The wire comes down into the trunk. And I can close the lid. It's pretty much uh, weather weatherproof. So let's uh, pop the cap. So I plug the solar charger in. And as I look, I'm not really seeing a difference. We gonna plug it. Voltage didn't change. The fuse is good. There's a 10 amp fuse in there. Let's try this with the trunk closed. So we had. 12.88 volts right now. Close one tenth of a volt, tenth of a hundredth of a volt. Alright, for some funny reason, I got the the meter set on amps to see how much amps is getting pushed out of the solar panel. And it's looking like, okay, the sun is coming out. So let's, um, Flip this over here if I can pull this out. All right, there we go. I want voltage, not millivolts. I want volts. DC. That's the flat sign with the dots. That one with the wavy will be alternating current. That's what you would read um, AC voltage. So let's plug the volt. And, and what do we have? 21 damn volts. I'm not charging my batteries in no 21 damn volts. Yeah. So I got my second panel plugged in. What kind of voltage is this, man? Alright. How can I say this? Life's trial and error. Alright, so this was my original solar panel. Um, and of course on the box it said you could just plug right in and go. But one day, um, way prior to this video I'm making, with this camera, I tested the voltage and it was reading in the 20s. I automatically thought something was wrong with it. It was ready to go in the garbage can. But I eventually acquired another one, so now I got two of these things. I'm probably going to wire them up in parallel just to, you know, boost up the amperage output. Um, glue them together some kind of way so that it's a double panel. So that's a plus for me. So that'll be my project for the day. What I have here is just your basic regulator it's just a voltage regulator off of eBay if I was to reset this thing this is the button to select okay your inputs coming in from my solar charger right here these are my outputs Let me get a little closer here wow okay so these are my outputs alright if I push this button that's showing how many volts 19.1 volts minus the voltage needed to run this thing all right, push it again, bring it down to 13. So I can actually turn this dial 
right here and adjust the flow. I can adjust the voltage. See how it climbs up? This will be turning that knob. So I can dial it all the way up to alternate a charging. It's reading 14.2. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. But I'm thinking maybe high 12s or 13 flat would be perfect for my charging. So I'm going to use this little device right here to um, basically regulate the amount of current going into my batteries. I think it's a very smart idea. So I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It's just the voltage regulator. I got it set at exactly 13 volts um, just to mimic a controller so that it doesn't overcharge my batteries and cause them to gas or even worse, um, you know, damage them. In other words, just, I don't want that. So, crude drawings, y'all. Boom, bam. All right, I'm going to connect the solar panels together. These are the solar panels. All right, we got 21 volts coming out of one, 22 out the other one, approximately... 9 to that's my amps. This one here was point zero plus minus whatever. Okay. Now it's possible that you know sun conditions might have been different when I was running them. Anything, but my whole idea is to got my wires. I want to connect these two together. Alright? From the end. I want, I'm going to do a, I want, what I'm going to do is, that male plug, it's going to come off that one end. For my controller right here, we'll just, not controller, we'll call it a regulator slash controller, um, run troller, we'll call it a run troller. Alright, my inputs, this is what I'm going to use for it, it's a female connector. That way I really don't have to modify too much on my solar panels. So basically I plug my solar panel into this. My run troller. Regulator. Well, regulator. My makeshift device that. here. I'm going to make this female plug go into the makeshift device. And then on the other end right here. The end I cut from the solar panel that looks, you know, not as new. I am going to run it off this output. So basically, moving all this stuff out the way on paper, you got my two control, my two charge, my two solar panels. I might get some quarter inch board or some kind of way I'm going to link them together so that they're one. Um, most likely, this will sit inside the car because I don't want nobody to just walk up and have a solar panel for themselves. I got my female plug. From here, I got my, I said female. From here, I got my male plug. From here, I have my female plug. From the outside of the controller, it's going to be the other male plug. All right. And then on my subwoofer box, I got my bolt terminals for my um, my distribution. And I have both the um, charge connectors for my battery tender as well as the solar panel charger on them already. So instead of messing up the Tesla tape that I have on there and the nice little loom I have, I can make another one off of this and then I even have a little piece of ABS laying around here and somewhere. I'm going to use this to actually mount the actual controller and then I might some kind of way cover it up to make it pretty or uh, something. I don't know. I can even use one of my old electronic cigarette boxes here. I got a, a box right here. It's a uh, that's kind of big. It's a Hammond style box. Mm. Maybe not that. I can use my old Segelli box, possibly. You know, maybe some kind of way mount that in there with this. Mm. That's scratched. Basically, maybe make some type of case for it. That's the whole goal of it, and um, make it so it's safe. And it doesn't get all corroded and, you know, weather beaten.
stay tuned for a future video. I'm definitely going to let you know how it worked out. Thanks for watching. Peace. Keep basing. Keep playing around. Keep exploring. Have fun. That's what it's all about. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.